Hello friends, uh, in this video, uh, I would like to conclude or repeat all the rules we used in the uh, previous videos to solve the syllogism related problems. Okay, simply I want to put the all the rules we used in previous videos in a single video. Okay, so what rules we have used? So that is all plus all will give all. Okay, if the first syllogism is starting with all, second syllogism is also starting with all, and the subject of the, I mean the predicate of the first statement equal into the predicate, I mean subject of the second one, then the conclusion or the derivation is going to be start with all. Okay, so whenever the first one is starting with all and the second one is starting with no, so the conclusion is going to be start with no only. Okay, so. If the first one is starting with all and the second one is starting with some and the predicate of the first one is equivalent to the subject of the second one, so then there is going to be no conclusion. Then there is going to be so no conclusion. Okay. So and next one is we have as first one is starting with some and the second one is starting with all. So then the conclusion is going to be start with some. Okay. So if the first one is starting with some and the second one is starting with no and then and then the derivation and the conclusion is going to be contain some and not some and not so the derived conclusion is going to be start with some and in between it is going to be contain not okay so whenever the first one is starting with some and the second uh, statement or the syllogism is starting with some so there is going to be no conclusion so there is going to be no conclusion at all okay if the first one is starting with if the first one is starting with no and the second one is also starting with uh, and the second one is starting with all or some all or some all or some so then the conclusion the derived conclusion is going to be start with some in the middle it is going to be contain not and reversed concept reversed means what the first one subject will become the predicate here and the second one predicate will become subject here okay second one's predicate will become subject here so that is the concept of the reversed and next one is when the first one is starting with no and the second one is also starting with no so then there is no conclusion at all so then there is no conclusion at all okay so these are the rules i explained in the previous video okay so whenever you are going to be uh, give exam please remember all these rules so it will make very easy to solve the syllogism related problems okay so and the other normal rules we use these whenever there is a uh, whenever there is all a's or b's so from this we can conclude that uh, when we interchange b's and a's this all will become some so that means from this one we can conclude all b's are a's so whenever there some b's are a's and then we can interchange a's and b's also so from this we can conclude from this we can derive all a's i mean some a's are b's so that means indirectly when all a's are b's so from this one we can derive some a's are b's and some b's are a's okay and uh, so whenever there is a statement like this no a is b no a is b so from this we can conclude that no b is a also okay so whenever there is no a is b so from that when we can conclude no b is a okay so these are the uh, normal you know derivations uh, conclusions we derive from this uh, statements okay like these statements okay so i hope uh, you understand all these rules if you have any doubt please leave a comment uh, thank you very much uh, for watching this video and please subscribe my channel